Dear Minister, Your Excellency, dear Members of Parliament, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank our hosts for having organized this conference on such an important topic. I extend my best wishes to you all for fruitful discussions during these two days, and I regret that I cannot be with you in person. I would also like to take this opportunity first to speak briefly on the current overall context of Corporate Social Responsibility CSR, in the European Union, and then outline some more concrete ideas on the link between CSR and health and safety at work. Over recent years, there has been much discussion on the issue of ethics within the private sector. With the difficult economic situation, this issue has become even more important. Some people argue that many companies do not see CSR policies as cost-effective in the context of the current crisis. However, this has not been confirmed in practice. On the contrary, what I see is that socially responsible activity is being maintained. Companies are looking at CSR as a way out of the crisis as a driver of future growth. This also resonates with public policy's wish to work with the private sector to achieve better social and employment outcomes, both in the short term as well as in the long term. It is clear that the crisis has hit our economies hard. This is true for all EU member states and regions across Europe. This crisis has exposed structural weaknesses in the EU's economy exacerbating the long-term challenges of continued globalization as well as pressure on resources and aging. The Commission's response to the crisis and to longer-term efforts to develop sustainable economies and societies is outlined in the new EU 10-year strategy for jobs and growth, Europe 2020. The Commission has set itself three priorities smart growth to develop an economy based on knowledge, education and innovation, sustainable growth to promote a more resource-efficient, greener and more competitive economy and to combat climate change, and finally, inclusive growth to foster a high employment economy, promote skills and combat poverty. Much of my attention as Commissioner responsible for employment, social affairs and inclusion focuses on inclusive growth. I see CSR as a vital part of our exit strategy from the crisis, as a significant pillar of our long-term economic and social vision through Europe 2020. In my view, forward-looking CSR must be structured around two core elements. First, it needs to promote a business-friendly agenda in line with the objectives of the Europe 2020 strategy, and second, it needs to encourage companies to play a greater role in creating job opportunities for the future. I am pleased to inform you that together with my colleague, Commissioner Tajani, I will present a communication on the future of CSR in the course of 2010. The communication will focus on rebuilding trust in business on the part of European citizens and on joining in on international efforts to promote CSR globally. Ladies and gentlemen, CSR also plays a key role in promoting health and safety at work. Over recent years, it has become increasingly clear that a safe and healthy working environment is essential to decent quality of work for all, raising employment levels, improving productivity and strengthening social cohesion. And with an aging population, it is more important than ever to protect workers from injury at work so as to enable them work for longer without risk to their health and safety. However, in spite of the successful improvement of working conditions in the EU member states, the EU still faces a number of challenges as regards occupational safety and health. The latest Eurostat data shows that every year more than 5,500 people die as a result of work-related accidents. About 500 million days at work are also lost because of accidents and work-related diseases. The overall cost of accidents at work to the Euro European economy in 2000 was estimated as around 55 billion euros. 
This is the equivalent of almost 1% of the EU 15's GDP for the same year. Another crucial aspect is the impact of the changes of new emerging occupational hazards. The Commission considers that actions to improve standards of health and safety at work in the EU could have a significant impact on the well-being of both workers and employees, as well as to individuals and society as a whole. To support EU efforts towards a more effective prevention of occupational accidents and diseases, the European Commission has defined a new community strategy on health and safety at work for the period 2007 to 12. This strategy sets an ambitious goal for all member states to achieve an overall 25% reduction in the total incident rate of accidents at work by 2012. The Commission is closely monitoring the situation in the Member States and will present a mid-term review of the Community Strategy in 2010. Together with the future Belgian Presidency of the Council, we will organise a forum on investing in well-being at work, addressing psychosocial risk in time of change. The Forum will play a key role in raising awareness of this important issue, generating new ideas and practical solutions and taking forward the work already done in this area. I wish you all the best for your conference. Thank you very much for your attention.